Okay, we're going to have a look now at software. We've had a pretty good look at hardware. Now we move on to the digital side of our operating system, which is software. Let's have a look and see what software actually is. Now, when you log on to your computer and you've signed in and your authentication has gone through, you are now on your desktop. And on the desktop, you can see we have all these icons. And so what do all these icons mean? What are they representative of? Let's first discuss this by establishing what is software. Okay, so software basically consists of programs that run inside an operating system on a computer device. They allow the user, which is you, to perform tasks or create materials on the computer. Let's have a look, programs. Now the word program could also mean applications or apps. So you could be talking about an app or an application or a program and it pretty much means the same thing. Okay, we've come to know them as apps, but back you know, when Windows first began, we called them applications. Perform tasks. The word application also comes from the word apply, which is a verb. It means to do something, to apply something, to create something or to do something which I already said. So what are we doing when we are applying or creating something? We are creating something or performing a task using an application. We are editing something. We are communicating with someone or creating methods of communication or we are sharing files as well. This is all the stuff that software allows us to do. So if you have a laptop or a computer of some kind, you've got access to one of the most powerful machines on the planet because it allows you to create, to invent, to connect and communicate. It's incredibly powerful. So you might have heard of GUI. It's pronounced GUI. I'm not even kidding. G-U-I. And you're probably wondering to yourself, what is G-U-I? I don't understand what that means. It's a graphical user interface. Graphical user interface. Graphical meaning pictures, illustrations, something visual. User meaning you. And interface is engaging with that graphical user interface. Interface means to link in with something, to communicate or work with something. So here is a nice illustration. We have the user at the top, which is you. The user interacts with application software. The application software interacts with the operating system and the operating system relies on the hardware as well in order to run it. And there's this back and forth engagement as well between each one of those. Let's check out something about the graphical user interface of a computer system. I'm going to use mine as an example. This is my computer that I'm working on. And I'm going to show you a few things that are part of the GUI, the GUI, the graphical user interface. Then we're also going to look at the, the actual user interface of specific applications. So on my desktop, I've got a whole lot of icons. Let's put them over there, put that over there. You can see there's a this PC icon. Here we have various applications over here, another application there, and there is a folder. And you can see it's created like that because it is a folder. Now, when working with a graphical user interface, it's obviously much easier if you have a means of interacting with it, such as a mouse. If you have a touch screen device, you, would, you might use your fingers or you might use a stylus. At the bottom of my screen, you can see I have my little Windows Start button. I've got a search feature over there. And then I've also got some icons that are sitting on my taskbar. Windows 10 has got what we call a taskbar. It sits right at the bottom of your screen. And you've got, um, I've pinned these. You can pin applications. I've pinned them here. And you've got a system tray on the right-hand side over here. Now, in the system tray, you've got various um uh, notification areas, you've got various tools that you have access to, there is the volume control, here we have the microphone settings, there's my Dropbox cloud storage, I've got OneDrive running over there, here's some applications running, these are keeping track of the, the temperature of the CPU, I've got a little up arrow here, let's see what we have here, oh, I've got a couple of other short applications running over here as well. I've got my, oh here's my recycle bin, that I can delete stuff and it just sits over there 
voila, in case I need it later. What else do we have in our graphical user interface? Let's start with a very basic thing about a window, a basic window. Now, to open up a File Explorer window, the keyboard shortcut is the window key and the letter E. So when I press the window key and the letter E, it opens up a File Explorer window. Now I'm going to bring a window up onto the screen here so you can have an example. There it is over there. Now your interface might look a little bit different to mine because I have what's called the dark theme in Windows. I've chosen a darker theme. It's just easier on the eyes and it just makes working a lot more pleasant because it's not this bright white glare in your eyes the whole time. So if you're looking on your computer and you're looking at my video, you'll probably see that they're a little bit different, but the principles are all pretty much the same. So I have a File Explorer window open over here and I've opened up my Documents uh, folder. In Documents, I've got a couple of folders and inside each of these folders, I might have subfolders and sub subfolders and I can store my documents and materials in there. But it's at the top that I want you to look. Here I have a window. I'm going to highlight this window in the video so you can see it better. And I've got the ribbon, which you are quite familiar with. And I've got some tabs. There they are there. And of course, each tab has got a group and each group has got various tools. So you might refer to these as toolbars. That's fine. I call them uh, groups because that's what they are called. And then the, at the top there we have tabs. And you can change everything depending on where you are currently in the operating system and the GUI, the graphical user interface. So if I have a look here, let's see what we've got. I've got the Home tab. I've got some clipboard features here. I can organize my window here. I can look at the various properties of files if I wanted to. And I can select all, select none, or invert the selection. So select all, select none. Invert the selection selects everything except what I selected. So select that one, invert. There we go. I've got the share option here and again you can send this via email, you can zip it all up, you can burn it to disk, print it, fax it. Does anyone fax anymore? I don't know. I can share it with specific people and then I can also look at advanced security settings as well. This is all within my ribbon. View. I use this quite a lot. So you've got a couple of options here. You have a preview pane, a details pane. You can change the way you view the icons. Click on the details, which gives you the name, the date modifier, type of file, all that stuff. You can make it into a list. So nice if you've got a lot of um, folders in one folder. Uh, large icons, small icons, extra large icons. That is extra large. Yeah, that's pretty big. Medium icons. Cool. You can group them. You can sort them. I mean, I can sort by name or date or type. I can group it by name, date, type. I mean, it really is. You can go to town with this stuff. This is quite a cool one, and I have shown this to you before, I think. The file name extensions, I always have that on, okay? Always. So that when you're looking at a file, so here's a file, for example. If I didn't have file name extensions on, I know I'm digressing a bit, just bear with me. Then I would just see APA, and that's great. I know it's a Word document, thank goodness, because I got the icon. But if I wasn't sure what kind of file it was, switch on file name extensions. It shows me that that's actually a Word template file. Okay. Right, so... Icons on the desktop, we know that those are shortcuts. We know that they take us somewhere when we double click on them. That's either a shortcut to a file or to a program. How about the bottom button here? This is the one we also need to look at in terms of our operating system and the graf graphical user interface. Click on the start button and we have a menu that pops up. Here is a menu system. Most operating systems need to have a menu system of some kind in order for the user to navigate through and find what they're looking for. So here I've got my menu. I've got all my applications that appear in a menu, uh, well, a window pane that I can scroll down here. So here are all my various applications. There they are there. And here we have pinned applications. So it's easy for me to access something very quickly without having to search or scroll down for it. And that's what my menu is for. Another feature of a graphical user interface.